Listen very carefully and follow my instructions. Prepare your brain for the Cortex Labs Nootropics Podcast. I gotta tell you, being an entrepreneur, I will not go through the rest of my career without taking nootropics. Aniracetam, paracetam, modafinil, nupet, uridine monophosphate. I mean, phenylparacetam, forget it. You could always have a better brain. The Cortex Labs Nootropics Podcast is about to begin. Episode number 47 of the Cortex Labs Nootropics Podcast. I am your host, Ryan Michael Bell. Thanks so much for being with me. Strap in, because I'm going to give you a strategy on taking ALA uh, with red wine, basically taking off lipoic acid when you consume a bit of red wine, how it's a nootropic in its own right. There's some mechanisms I'm going to postulate about why that might be the case. And we'll talk about the major takeaway of ALA and its nootropic capacities, which is that it is a massive antioxidant in the brain. All right, let's do a minute of product pro. Number one, the Cortex Nootropic Stack. We've got a woman who takes our stack. That's our pre-made stack. Very powerful focus, motivation, speed of processing, nootropic stack. She just got a promotion at her job. Now, it took her six months to get this promotion. And six months ago is when she started taking Cortex, our nootropic stack. Now, look, we don't want to say that we're responsible for her promotion in this thing, but it's very clear that once you improve brain performance, this is the direct correlation to performing better within your job, which could lead to promotions. She got the biggest promotion in her career. Over the course of the last six months, and the last six months is when she got into nootropics. She's been taking Cortex. That stuff turns people's brain on. Cortex equals promotions. Okay, get that at livecortex.com. Get our stack, Cortex, at livecortex.com. Uh, this lady's brain is turned on as a result of it. She th- thanks us every day for it. Uh, she was getting you know, up there in age, 59 or so, and she's saying, hey, my brain's not functioning the way it used to. This stack got it all back for me. Get it at livecortex.com. Look, we wrote three digital guides to teach you how to use nootropics. There's one called the Nupept. Pro stack list, digital stack list of new pep stacks. There's another called the Racetam God Guide, digital stack list of Racetam stacks. Another one called Smarter, Better, Faster. This is a giant digital guide that teaches you how to use nootropics, gives you very many stacks, gives you cycling strategies, and more. Lastly, we have a nootropics consulting service. It's 65 bucks. Get you a 40-minute call with me on Skype or phone, whatever you want. 15 additional email correspondences. Typically, what we do is we help folks formulate stacks for folks that work best for them. You know, We give them guidance on what to do with those stacks. Uh, we respond to their feedback in response to taking those stacks and what those stacks are doing to them. We try to refine everything and get them really functioning and firing on all cylinders get all that stuff at livecortex.com okay so uh so back to the podcast ala right massive antioxidant this is massive antioxidant one of the great things that it does is it crosses over the blood brain barrier into the brain and increases brain glutathione okay brain glutathione you know, glutathione in general is a detox chemical your liver sort of uh liver phases of detox engage in order to pair chemicals that you might take in your body that your your body thinks like i can't use this and it's damaging to the body like alcohol or something uh, and then get you know tries to turn it into something a little less nefarious and get it out your urine or or, or even your waste through your intestines. And so uh, ALA has this magic property, magic few properties where where it's like this coupling. It's like these 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 two major things where it's both a massive antioxidant. Uh, so you know, so basically, it does, it tries to reverse oxidation, which is like one of the cellular processes that damages cells uh, in response to various things from the environment. Uh, and then it also increases brain glutathione, major detox chemical. Uh, it seems pretty clear that, uh, and so ALA works on being a nootropic from the back end, basically working on things that would damage the brain and then, you know, sort of attacking them. It seems pretty clear to me, and I think it's, uh, it's sort of collectively understood and agreed upon that a great degree of brain fog, I mean, I truly think this, a great degree of brain fog that folks might experience on a day-to-day basis does have to do with oxidation, right? It, it, it certainly at the mitochondrial level has to do with some sort of mitochondrial malfunction. Yeah, it's neurotransmitter malfunction, and yeah, it's these sorts of things. In some cases, it could be blood flow uh, issues, but a lot of cases, it's merely just damage to cells via oxidation, right? And so, so you've got ALA coming in and basically reversing that, working on that issue and thereby improving brain performance. It's actually, you know, folks think like, hey man, you've been taking nootropics for nine years, what's the best one? And they think I'm going to say modafinil, and whether they think I'm going to say like aniracetam or something, nope. Alpha lipoic acid. I mean, these days I'm going to make the definitive statement. My favorite nootropic. It's in the top three, no question. You know, I've revised that over the course of the last two years because I've been taking it a heck of a lot more, and I've done the research and, and experimented with it. ALA 
is a super nootropic. I actually get acute effects from it too. You know, I take it 20 minutes later, brain clears out. I mean, it's, it's insane. Brain works really good. Total fluidity without the stimulation is what, is what uh, ALA does to you in terms of nootropic benefits. But the interesting thing that I found, and by the way, dose range is 100 to 300 milligrams for nootropic benefits. The thing that I found is the following. Uh, because I've been taking nootropics for a long time and I'm into this sort of biohacking thing, I really love the term biohacking, but I'll use it because folks know what that means. Modulating you know, physiology for performance benefits or to alleviate something that's uh, uh, degrading or, or is wrong with your body. I like to look at the things that would be harmful somewhat to my body, like you know, alcohol and, and, and even moderate doses is really considered sort of toxic to the body and liver, and it's okay, and you can get rid of it, and, and it all depends on what you couple with the alcohol, which is why red wine is such a you know significant staple in people that live to 100 plus years old because of the antioxidants and resveratrol and all this stuff. Uh, but looking at things that might damage the body, how can you reverse it while you while while you're doing those things? If you must for leisure or whatever, like you wouldn't in the case of drinking alcohol. And so, in thinking that way, you know what I've come to understand is that ALA couples really well with wine. Okay, so if you're going to have a few glasses of wine and you really want to minimize the negative effects that the wine that the alcohol has on your liver. ALA is an incredible solution. Number one, you know, ALA has been demonstrated to literally regenerate liver cells. Like they give out, go Google it. They give alpha lipoic acid, like in various instances, uh, clinicians have given alpha lipoic acid to people with liver failure, okay, acute liver failure and liver injury. And in, in giving them this therapy, I mean, they've, they've actually had folks that were near death that were in these the, the, the sort of spiral downward, all the normal characteristics of liver disease and all the normal characteristics of the subsequent degradation and eventual death, uh, not only get better, but 30 years later, they're fine with no liver disease. Okay, that's how powerful ALA is, ALA is at regenerating liver functionality. So that's one reason to take it if you're going to consume alcohol. Uh, 100 to 300 milligrams an hour or so or a half hour or so before you consume the alcohol. That's what I found to work the best. And that's anecdotal, but it seems to make sense to me. Uh, but the other interesting thing is that, and this is where we're going to get into theory land, but the, the basis that I want you to understand is that combining ALA with a few glasses, we're talking about two to four of a good solid red wine is a massive nootropic effect. I always get a massive nootropic effect from it because I get the calmness of the alcohol. And, you know, the red wine binding to GABA receptors, that's one of the things, reasons it does that. And the sociability and all the good stuff that comes with drinking a few glasses of wine, uh, coupled with a massive mental clearing, like, sort of background thing that's going on via the ALA. Uh, more than likely via either the increases in acetylcholine, which is one of the things ALA does. Uh, but again, you know, more specifically and more likely the increases in brain glutathione and its capacity to be an antioxidant in the brain. Okay, so, uh, so, but I think there's something else going on. I, I think that it's all those things. But the combination of ALA with some of the chemicals in wine that are antioxidants uh, is really where you get this coupling of nootropic benefits from the both of them that end you up in a state where, I mean, like, uh, like just to give you sort of an anecdotal, like, I'll drink a few, two to four glasses of wine, you know, and I will already have taken 100 to 300 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid an hour or 30 minutes prior to drinking the wine, you know, and then by, by like wine two and a half, when like typically my brain function, my cognitive function, my capacity to specifically working memory, uh, you know, would, would decline noticeably to me because I'll, I'll notice it. I can't remember a name or whatever. Like it'll just, it'll just be a little slower. Not like I'm just sitting there dumb, but I mean like you can, you know, I can notice that, that certain quantities of alcohol will start to uh, degrade some of that stuff. Number one, it not only doesn't happen. You know, when I take ALA, but but I get into two, three glasses of wine, and my brain functions really good. I it's like really, really good, and that was always one of the things with alcohol that I I, I stayed away from it because of this. Because after a few drinks, like I would notice, like yeah, my brain just is not working the way it wants to. And I'm one of those people that's very obsessive about having a, a highly functional brain. I'm a obsessive. Like, you wouldn't even believe it. Like, I'm so obsessive about it. I don't want to function without a good brain. And so that was a, that was like a non-starter for alcohol. I just didn't want to drink because I, I recognized that my brain would just not function after a certain amount of drinks. But with ALA, I completely cured the problem. Verbal fluency, cognitive function, working memory stays good and functional. But you end up in sort of like, I can only explain this as like a nootropic superstate. 
I'm not trying to be hyperbolic. This is literally what happens to me. I sort of get into a nootropic super state with ALA and red wine. Where after, you know, glass two or three, and I've got the ALA in me circulating around, working on the brain, being an antioxidant, and there's a coupling. I mean, this is my theory, but this is what seems clear it's happening. There's a coupling of the antioxidant capacity of ALA and the the chemicals in red wine that act as antioxidants and act as like anti-aging, like resveratrol, uh, that act on the body in a very specific way. So that's 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 my anecdotal report. That's the strategy. You know, 100 to 300 milligrams of ALA an hour, you know, 30 minutes to an hour before consuming some red wine and then two to four glasses of red wine. Again, the goal is to prevent the cognitive decline while you're drinking the wine, particularly in working memory, maybe verbal fluency, otherwise processing, but to also via the increases in brain glutathione and the increases in antioxidant functionality into the brain via crossing into the blood brain barrier, combination of that and some of the chemicals in wine that are known for being anti-aging and antioxidant having antioxidant capacity, this creates an interesting nootropic state that has been number episode number episode episode number 47 look i'm backwards i need some ala and some red wine i need some shiraz that would be a good that's a good combination by the way shiraz you know that's a particular type of you know reddish reddish kind of wine and some ala episode 47 of the cortex labs nootropics podcast the super nootropic of ala and red wine i am your host ryan michael ballard check us out on the web at livecortex.com and livecortex.com slash blog hey if you want a blog with a lot of information around nootropics to include doses and strategies, go to livecortex.com slash blog. If you want a downloadable digital guide on Nupept that gives you very many stacks, just about 50 stacks of Nupept, download the Nupept Pro stack list at livecortex.com. If you want a guide that is downloadable that teaches you how to use nootropics, gives you very many stacks to include like modafinil, caffeine, theanine stacks, Get the Smarter, Better, Faster digital guide at livecortex.com. And if you want a list of racetam stacks, just about 100 of racetam, 100 racetam stacks, <laughs> crazy ones, crazy long, highly effective racetam stacks, get the digital downloadable guide called the racetam God guide that is on the website livecortex.com. Our stack Cortex right now, $34.99, powerful pre-made stack, functional brain energy stack, Get the Cortex stack at livecortex.com. Use the coupon code 5. That'll take it down to $29.99. Pretty darn good for a powerful stack that people use all around the world to crank up brain performance. And then lastly, we do a nootropics consult. It is a $65 consulting service. Get your 40 minutes with me on a Skype or audio call and then 15 additional email correspondences. Get all of that stuff at livecortex.com. We've got some more digital guides launching soon. The first one that's going to drop is one called Nootropic Stacks for the Business Professional. Coming up soon. Thanks so much for listening, guys. We'll talk to you next time.